of the deadly fire on board a Russian nuclear sub this week, raising plenty of questions, including what the spy sub was doing when the flames broke out. Several news outlets, including the Washington Times, now speculating the sub may have been on a secret Russian mission, looking to tap into or cut underwater fiber optic or internet cables that span the Atlantic and Arctic sea lanes. Big deal. The incident coming amid several major outages this week, affecting the likes of Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Apple, and yes, Verizon. Joining me now live is Florida Congressman Michael Waltz, former counterterrorism advisor to then Vice President Dick Cheney and a former Green Beret commander. Good evening, Congressman. Hi, Ed. What How you are you? I'm doing fantastic, but I'm, I'm scratching my head wondering what were the Russians really up to here? Well, you know, just to take a step back for a moment, I think most people think the Internet's in the cloud. Uh, it's really under the ocean. Mm. Uh, there are almost 400 of these cables. They're about the size of a, of a really large garden hose uh, that run several hundred thousand miles. And, and our entire modern economy is dependent on these fiber optic cables from banking to insurance to financial markets. And it's not just communicating with each other. It is how they actually access their data in data centers all over the world. So both the Russians and the Chinese yeah. have made it clear in their national security strategy that they are not going to take the United States on tank to tank or aircraft carrier to aircraft carrier. They are going to attack us asymmetrically. That's attacking us in space, cyber, undermining our confidence, our elections, or in this case, and what this sub was doing, uh, very likely, uh, was tapping into these cables to collect the data, to, mm. to gather intel, and to put in place the ability to drop portions of the internet and to, and to pull wow. the rug out from under our modern economy if we ever have to go to any well, type of conflict. Let's pick that apart. That, that's big stuff. First of all, when you say, yeah. we believe that the Russians may have been trying to suck up some of this data and get information. What kind of intelligence gathering, when you're talking about thousands and thousands of lines and cables, it could be a lot of our emails, text, whatever, all kinds of info. Right. Well, right. So one thing to understand is that, you know, artificial intelligence, which are these powerful algorithms uh, that can basically at, at some point in the near future outthink humans, outsmart us and do it you know, faster and quicker and mm -hmm. fuel their militaries. They rely on data. Data is the fuel. It's the new coal uh, that power uh, that power the kind of the AI industry, particularly on the military side. So that's one piece. But the other piece is to be able to attack us or to under minus economically. So you can imagine a Russian incursion into Ukraine, into Lithuania. We respond with additional sanctions yeah. and the Russians then respond by dropping a portion of the European uh, Internet or the global uh, banking system. I think from my perspective in Congress, twofold. Yeah. One, this is why the defense budget that we're fighting now with the Democrats is so important. They want to drop the budget. We want to continue to fund the military, including submarines that can track and monitor and take down these Russian submarines. Right. Uh, and, and two, this is, you know, this is why I think sending a strong signal to yeah. the Russians is so important of what we consider critical infrastructure. So, Congressman, I got 30 our elections seconds. Yeah. And our elections and our global Internet will be met with force if they, if they go so after So you suggested they could have been sucking up data, but the second part of the, and the last part of the question I want to ask, how certain does it seem that the Russians may have been trying to attack these lines, bring down an Apple, bring down a Verizon, or at least impact it and hurt our economy? Well, we know, you know we know they have the capability, and we know they are further developing the capability. They're actually converting old missile submarines into the type of submarines that can get down to the depths that they need and send out drones to take these cables down. Mm. So whether that's exactly what they were doing in this case, yeah. I can't get into the intelligence, <laughs> but we know they have the capability as part of their strategy. I suspect and we have a, to be prepared to counter it. We need to be prepared. I suspect there's a lot more coming on this, Congressman Michael Waltz. We appreciate yeah. you coming in, sir. Thanks, Ed.